Welcome back. Now, when we talk about turning your webinar attendance into products, we want to come to the point where we understand what we can bring to the market that actually solves the problem that we have been discussing that the webinar is actually highlighting. Now, Dr. Lisa Lang has a theory and it's called Mafia Offers. And it's about changing what it is that you can actually offer based on what the market is really requiring. So if you understand what the market really wants, what it's looking for in a solution, even if you don't fully offer that, you can actually turn and consider how you can then offer what it is that the market wants to solve the actual problem. So when you consider that, you want to think about what can you bring? Can you bring experts to the problem? So in other words, do people want to know, do people want expert opinion about how to solve the problem? Do they want a smorgasbord of people and opinions on what they can do to actually undertake a solution? Do they want automation? So can you bring automation to a problem? In other words, do they want to speed up the process? Do they want to make sure that they're able to do more things? Do they want to do more tracking? What can you bring in terms of automation? This is typically going to be the creation of software, the creation of macros, or something that actually speeds up the process and allows the customer not to have to do something that they had to previously do. Is there a workaround? So maybe there's already software in the market and what you're going to be offering is a workaround. Maybe there's another way to think about solving the problem. So think about how you can come and approach the actual solution. Do they want content? In other words, do they want to be able to teach other people or sell to other people? Can you bring content to a situation? We're probably talking about private label rights and PLR and resale rights and master resale rights. Can you bring tools to solve a problem? So can you actually give them solutions in terms of putting things in their hands that are going to be helping them to actually solve the problem? Now, this probably falls into the area of software, but in some cases, you can actually give them tools that will operate on the website. Sometimes it can be cloud-based. You want to start thinking about, again, how you can give them tools. And maybe these tools actually operate with the software. So again, think about how you fit in to the solution to the problem. Can you bring them instruction? So is there a part of the instruction that is vague, that they are not necessarily getting the full picture that will help them to be successful? Maybe they don't understand why they're doing something. So think about, again, how you can add to the conversation that is actually already happening. Can you add a service? Right. This is again, this kind of goes back to the previous module. Where we talked about being able to add a service. Sometimes what you can do is you can add a service to an actual problem in order to make sure that it gets solved and that you can implement your own solution. Is there a different formula? Is there a different formula that's going to be cheaper for the buyer? Is there a different formula that's going to be easier for the buyer? Is there a different formula that's going to be more effective? So again, you don't necessarily have to mention the other solution, but can you bring something to the market that works totally better because it's based on a totally different approach to solving the actual problem? Now, let's talk about where we're going to announce our launch. So we want to think about talking to the webinar host. So maybe there's a way that the webinar host can actually offer this as an additional solution. Now, in most cases, this is probably not going to necessarily happen, but this can be a fantastic way of being able to be in front of people on a relevant basis. And again, um, you want to have that conversation anyway. You want to understand what their business model is and how they intend to approach the solution. Sometimes the vendor, if you've got something that's an add-on to what they're doing, this fits into even what we talked about previously in terms of offering a service, you can actually add on and actually enhance the experience of their customers. You can actually introduce your product in a Facebook group. So you want to make sure that this prop, this Facebook group, though, is one where that problem is already being experienced. And of course, and of course, you want to have the permission of the person who actually runs the group. Multi-level marketing associates often want new solutions. So you can actually offer this inside of multi-level marketing companies where maybe they've got their own proprietary solution, but you can offer a more efficient one. Sometimes you might offer an affiliate commission, but again, it's a way of being able to get in front of people and to get new customers. 
course, you can be inside of LinkedIn groups and any social media groups. You can do it, especially inside local meetups where this doesn't necessarily take place as well as local networking groups. So there are a number of places where you are going to be able to take what you're doing and bring your product to a new audience to bring your solution to a new audience and offer it in a different way. So think about, once again, um, how you can bring something different to the market that the market really wants. You wanna think about making a mafia offer, which is the offer that cannot be refused, even if you have to change what it is you're doing to be able to offer it. That's really the key to being able to make a mafia offer. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.